today's tale is about a previously mentioned shithead Adam and Mark and how he retired or why he retired. It started with the three 1v1s that we're seeing now. This game he opened up with a pool first and did no damage only killing a few marines. And we can see that the push is happening. Guardians clearing out that first wave with the second wave accompanied by more Goliaths pushing forward. Counter Guardians trying to do what they can. Looks like there will be enough Goliaths to take care of. Getting closer to that main. A last ditch effort, a bunch of mutants going in and just getting absolutely destroyed. We are gonna get it, GG. This was the game one. This was the game one. This wasn't any monkey business. Game two, leading up to the fourth game that would that would inevitably retire the shithead admin mark. We have one of his favorite matchups, the Terran versus Protoss. Mark is very confident in this matchup. He's able to defend the can lock in, but a couple of zealots get by getting some shots off on those SCVs. Marines countering attack, trying to get in before those cannons get up at the choke. Will he be able to do it? <laughs> more reinforcements, more micro, but Ah, not in time. Not today, Mark. Not today. Oh, again, he does stop my little cannon contain. And he has a little contain of his own. Nice, nice job, Mark. <laughs> too bad I got some drops. Dropping two goons off to clear those turrets. Distraction while the main boy goes in. Thunderstorm everywhere. Where are your SCVs, Mark? Where are your SCVs? Another drop coming in right at the choke with a lot of high Templars. Brutal storm. On everything. Luckily, Mark did save a couple SCVs, but will it matter? So many SCVs dying to the storm. Did nobody warn them? Did the Terran news station not warn them about the Tony G storm, incoming storm that was happening? Everything. Oh my god. Oh, I think he picked off the one with the High Templars this time. Ah, attack probes, attack! <laughs> Dropping Mark everywhere, tearing at Mark's patience, his every last molecule of well-being is getting tested right now. Tony G going in for the finishing blow. Will he GG? No, he won't GG. <laughs> Jumping in to the third game. The third game that pushed him to retirement. <laughs> How will he do it? It's another Another of his favorite matchups is PvP. He loves his Terran versus Protoss, but Tony G Protoss is pretty good. <laughs> what did you What did you call me, Mark? <laughs> Mass attack! Who no one calls me a pussy? Mass attack number one. 
BM got to me a little bit. Retreat. But that doesn't matter. I max up again. Mid very quickly and I go in. I go in. I will not be called a pussy. Ah! Probably not the most cost efficient battles, but it doesn't matter. Round three, we're not max, but we're gonna go in. We're gonna kill this mark. We are not a pussy. All right, all right, back up, back up. That's a lot of tanks, Tony. Maybe uh, all that attacking wasn't the best idea. Maybe this is the end of Tony G. Maybe this is a happy ending for Mark where he gets a victory. Is he able to break Tony G? He's doing so well. He's, he's right in Tony's base. He's pushing forward. Mark, maybe Mark does it. Maybe Mark does it. Mark, the miracle. Pushing again. So close, Mark. You're so close to Tony G's minerals. Triple attack could have been a quadruple attack, but for some reason Tony G leaves out his one arbiter with a bunch of high templars and zealots. Mark pushing forward. Tony G taking back map control. Another nice surround attack by Tony G trying to stop this huge Terran army that he luck get this big because he only focused on massing. But BAM! Carriers! DTs! Saving the day! Gonna defeat that mark today! This is how it happened. <laughs> we jumped into it. I told Mark, grab your best partner in let's 2v2 i'll take dano and i will battle you you call me a pussy i will battle you marcus so here's the game that retired mark me and dano versus mark and his best favorite partner of all time <laughs> What is up, you all YouTube and loving people of the world, nation, galaxy, universe? How are you today? I hope you enjoyed that intro, and I hope you guys are excited to see how this tale concludes. The story, I already did a tale, so I'm going to do a story this time. How this story concludes, okay? So, y you saw what happened. I just challenged uh, Mark to pick his best favorite partner of all time to 2v2 me since he loves 2v2 and since he has all these favorite people who are just oh yeah we just love 2v2 and 2v2 is so much more fun than 1v1 so yeah we'll see how she goes he of course picked uh pro fantastic somebody who is in the top five uh, top three usually in 2v2 every season. He is uh, a great 2v2 player. And uh, I, of course, chosen uh, Extra Jelly Beans, a.k.a. Dano, uh, who is often near the bottom in 1v1 and 2v2. And uh, he's still a little bit of a legend, uh, but yeah, he doesn't have the highest win rate in S's SCW career, so uh, we'll see how she goes. Tony G up here, it will be of course brown and purple. We are across spots, not very good, but we did get Protoss, Protoss versus um, blue and white beats. Mark, of course, gonna be Terran here, and his partner in Gosu Crime will be a red. 
we see him opening up with a four gate and uh, a three gate right here for uh, Tony G. And let's see what our Gosu Dano's doing. He is going for a assimilator and a cybernetics core very quickly. Very Gosu stuff by Mr. Jelly Beans. This is something that you can do if your partner is Prarotas. Tony G is going to get a forge, perhaps going to look to cannon in Mr. Beats here so they can focus on 2v1ing Mr. Pro Fantastic. We'll see how this goes. Of course, I am no 2v2 expert, so I don't exactly know what the strategy is other than mass cannons at some point in the at some point in the game uh the first two zealots are going to be thrown out here on the offensive against mr fantastic we'll see how he does how he defends this this pylon here is crucial to get so you can get two zealots to block any kind of attack from your enemy he uh jelly bean throwing out some commands he's gonna tell me to go bow mass attack well he goes for a DT rush. We do see um, two probes out here probably going to slowly cannon Mr. White in. Tony G is slacking a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing. Maybe afraid of something. But uh, there is nothing there, Tony G. You don't have to worry. Pinging over here. Uh, Red is coming out to do a counterattack on Purple, who may be a little vulnerable. Only one cannon up here, as he did get that super quick guess. We're going to have to see some micro to defend that. We do see Tony G going to sneak down here uh, to try to distract Red a little bit to help out his partner. Two zealots are going to get misrallied over there. They don't want to run into that uh, little pylon, though, which. They are going to get in there from sloppy unit control from white. And he is going to be able to team up with his partner who did go for a fifth gateway here. So it looks like he will not be getting any kind of gas anytime soon. He is just going to be focusing on the mass zealots. Going to try to uh, get map control with his partner here. Tony G has got a big fail up here for that uh, block in. But he isn't giving up the dream. He is going to start doing it outside of his choke. Throwing down a pylon there which is always a smart move to do so. The Terran can't float anything down, but we are going to have to see Mr. Ordano if he can defend this. This is a lot of stuff. He is asking for help, saying me fast. He does have two DTs in production, and I think luckily for them, they are going for that DT shrine instead of this main... Uh, he is stack pulling his probes, is going to stack this focus, not the best choice by Mr. Marcus. He is focusing on up here, and he does have the lowest micro in this game, or lowest APM in this game. So that is a uh, typical thing we are going to see from Mr. Mark there, making uh, really poor choices with his army because he just can't control an army while macroing at home. Uh, no offense, Mr. Shithead Admin Mark, of course. Uh, the DTs are going to be out. And that is going to be trouble. We don't even have an engineering bay down for Mr. Beats. It's his super early DT. The DTs aren't even going to go for him, though. They are going to make a mistake. Ah, good micro, though. At least Dano is going to be able to keep those alive and uh, going to push over here. We do see that nice little teamwork. They are going to do their best to possibly uh, block these DTs, maybe. So he can get some cannons up, but the DTs are in here. And there is no turret up yet. Going to uh, target that SEV, which is building that turret. A couple turrets are going to be at home, but losing this choke is not going to be good. These sneaky DTs are doing exceptional. We can see uh, the pr everyone, at, uh, the Protosses are throwing their Nexuses back at home. You can see that on the minimap. But this attack is where all of the focus is going down. He's going to really have to keep these DTs alive. Brr, Tony G not really micro in these two well. He is sending in some more reinforcements so they are going to try to kill Mr. Beats or at least put him in a not so comfortable position. A couple cannons are going in at home. Um, more DTs out in front of red they are going to work together with mr proby here to try to get some cannons up in front of red that which will block this is of course the uh, meta in the 2v2 you can only build 200 uh units but you can build infinite amount of structures and of course 
cannons can attack air and ground and also detect so why not just mass them up since we have infinite minerals on this beautiful fastest map which is just so perfectly balanced in every aspect and is exactly how blizzard imagined their game being played at the highest level dts are just doing absolute work here a pretty good choice by dano that is why he is a two verse two master uh, because he just has some great decision making while also executing these really interesting builds quite well. DTs are swiping away, just doing massive damage. 40, 11 kills, 8 kills. They've got, and that's all uh, zealots, I guess, and marines. Um, the white is surviving. I do hear a zealot attacking something over right here. Tony G just poking away at that pylon at the front. Uh, we do see the supplies. Uh, Tony G and Beats actually having the most supply right now. Uh, these two... I guess Red actually just had a lot of blade gas, but his tech is still pretty uh, impressively good. Still pretty good. He went right for that robo. I don't see any drops out yet. Or anything. We do see that contain being completed by purple on red. This will allow us to just focus on uh, killing white. Uh, I am just taking the mass to heart and not even going to throw down a robotics facility. I, brr, I am just going pure mass units. And uh, I, uh, I'm just hoping that he is going to drop. But I guess that he's not, not even his plan. He's just going to get high Templars, which will also be super good while trying to break this Terran player. We do see a Nexus up here, perhaps to build more probes or perhaps just to uh, block a little bit for this Terran player as he isn't able to get his choke until that vessel pops out as there is GTs all over this map. Uh, a six gateway uh, production for... Jelly Beans, he is keeping his money low, and he did get his second Nexus down. A little bit more standard stuff for our brown and red players here. Red is got his drops out, though. Not getting his upgrades up, trading that. Of course, that is what I traded for. Drops for upgrades here to help my mass out. I am don't have any of the upgrades done yet, but uh, we are going to go in together. Look at this teamwork. We didn't even say or ping anything. We are just going to go in. We know that Beats is a weakling, and we want to take him out ASAP. Let's see if these storms go down. Mr. High Templars, you got so much energy. Don't go down without anything. I don't know what he's thinking with that. A lot of Dragoons up here maybe going to focus on taking out this top, so... He can drop abuse from the top, but uh, maybe he just wants to go for the break of cake as well. Also a very excellent idea, Tony G. Don't mind if you do. He is comfortably the in the uh, supply lead. I imagine that will stay. We can see Mr. Red just massing up cannons here at home instead of gateways to help out his partner. He knows that this is just... A matter of survival as they have completely lost map control and, and are unable to help each other. So if we were to focus on him, he would need all of these to survive. I imagine he's also getting a lot of cannons up for drops that, that aren't going to be coming. No, Oh, we do see drops now getting started for Tony G. Going to get those high Templars out, but they are breaking this Terran player down. He is getting pushed farther and farther back. Dragoons do pretty good against uh, not any tanks. Uh, Reaver getting a couple of kills there, but it is going to get be pushed back. A tank is going to get sieged up here. More and more reinforcements are flooding in from our Team Protoss, Team Tony G, Team um, Good Guys. We are the good guys for sure. If we we if it was Pokemon, I would be Ash. He would be Misty, and this would be Team Rocket, of course. I would imagine um, Mark being. Jay Jesse and uh, him being James that is how I picture it all oh my goodness a beautiful storm getting done down there I don't know if that was from TG or Mr. Dano uh, but another 
Storm going to go down here, just devastating the Terran player, just destroying him. I can see why this might push a player to retirement because he's just getting blasted right now, just absolutely devastatedly blasted, and uh, there's nothing he can really do about it. He is going to try to float away his expansion while also not lifting his main. He does think that he's going to survive that perhaps, but no. Tony G is just going to snap that dream right in half right now by focusing on that with a couple units here. And that main will go down. This uh, command center it did not do a very good job from running away. All it had to do was avoid these very stationary cannons. And he was unable to do that, floating right into those cannons, allowing them to take it down. He is going to be able to get a burning factory and a fully health science facility, which will definitely help him out in the later games, especially in this 2v1 situation. Protoss, Protoss versus Protoss. We can see Mr. Pro Fantastic. He uh, is doing what he can. Oh, actually, look at that. Mr. Beats was able to pull out an SCV and get a command center building. So he may be able to uh, do it. We are seeing a storm here, but it looks like it only got nine probe. That is why he's LMFAOing. Tony G is going to go down here, make sure that nothing can survive. He does not want to allow Beats uh, even a millisecond to collect any kind of minerals in any kind of spot that isn't this base from red. Um, a dropship going around, just clearing out all of white space. We can see Tony G is maxed attacks with a whole ton of gateways and his whole drop tech is ready to go in a lot of more comfortable position now just massing up his cannon defense as he has been on the offense all along and if uh this guy is really going to try to 2v1 maybe he so goes through that i actually may need to get some defense because the only way to lose this is if we somehow both lost our mains and he just slowly grinded a, grinded a win out against us in a super weird long game so we are going to try to do our best to prevent that and uh, mass up cannons. You can see we are getting Arbiters and slowly transitioning into uh, a later game because uh, they haven't GG'd yet, which is always an interesting choice because that is what I like to do often. So I can't actually chirp that. I do like to try to win the 2v1s as much as I possibly can. And I don't blame him for trying as well, but unfortunately... He is going to be up against uh, a Tony G and uh, Dan O.D. So it may just not work out too well. I can't imagine it working out at all, but let's see how it goes. We can see him trying to get up a little base. Uh, a drop is going to come in. I wonder if it's going to get... Oh my gosh, it did get Tony G, but it is only going to clear supply for him because he has stacks on stacks on stacks. He is absolutely... Filthy rich this game. We can see these Reavers are doing what they can, but uh, five Reavers will not be able to kill 200 Dragoons, followed up by 200 accompanied allied Zealots. The full mass is going to go in here. We do have as much defense up as Mr. Red could possibly get up, but I just don't think it's going to be enough. The drops. Oh, look at that. Tony G scout on the map. That's a little bit BM. He is on the hunt. He is on the prowl. That is a scout designed just to kill Mark if he did float anywhere else, I imagine. Or just a mistake when he was trying to build a Corsair or an Arbiter. Of course, that is also very, very possible. The Dragoons pushing forward with two, two upgrades. Just brilliant upgrades. Three, three, almost completed. He is going for a mass recall on the main, it looks like. He is uh, not going to fool around. He's not going to do any monkey business on this. Uh, one dropship. I don't know. I hope that wasn't me. I hope that was Dan was just sending in that dropship there because that would be embarrassing if it was me. You, I could have probably got it if I came in this spot, a much normal, more normal spot. We do see a double dropship coming in here again. Going to try to hit up Tony G. Tony G, it looks like he does have his probes controlled this time. As this was scouted, that'd be pretty ghostly if he stormed that. Archon's coming, pushing forward, trying to break this Protoss player. They do want to kill him before the Gozu Beats is able to rebuild. You can see him double collecting gas right here. And, uh, he, and he always does have a bank because he's just not able to spend his money very well. 
Uh, we do see this coming in here. Let's see if it does any work. Tony G does have it. Oh, my God. He pulled them all right into the storm. Devastation station. But again, Tony G bank is through the roof. He is probably just going to mass up in a huge army attack while doing this. Go through Reaver Recall. We can see these High Templars are just chilling here waiting to hallucinate themselves up. And uh, he was able to hold that first push while also storming. So we can see that Mr. Pro Fantastic is no slouch. He was ready to put beats on his back and carry him to a potential victory. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know uh, if he's going to just be able to do this. I just really don't know. It's just not looking good. Tony G's bank is getting a little bit low. But, yeah, he is just massing out. He is just going to have a whole hawk of ton of units here. And just hope to finish him off. Tony G also building a couple cannons here because that is the most likely spot for Mr. Beats to expand and also wants to get as much detection for these drops as possible. We can see Red is coming over here to start massing cannons over here for Beats to uh, eventually expand. He is thinking about that. That is, he knows that killing isn't the most likely possibility. He does need a partner at least to make some tanks to help him out to tank a ledge or something. But here we go. We do see a whole ton of units streaming out for Tony G for another round of pain for Red. We'll see if he'll be able to hold this. Uh, I don't know what exactly Tony G is waiting for. Probably, uh, hopefully he's just waiting for 150 uh, energy and then he will do a drop to seal the deal here but maybe these dragoons will be enough uh, another very pp poor drop gonna come in here and it actually is going to land very nicely done is going to be able to get quite a few probes there he was able to pull and he does have quite a big a bank so it isn't the biggest of deals but uh, here we go. Here is the pain train from Tony G. It is going in and it is ready to deliver the last bit of pain necessary. These Dragoons are still doing work at the front. But uh, yeah, he is still going to have to deal with the pain train. This Arbiter not in the best position. Not uh, getting protected by his brethren. It is going to go in here. Nicely protected and recall in a whole horse ton of Reavers which will be able to destroy this main. And look at that. Beats is actually going to GG on his final game, his final game of his whole StarCraft career. He is able to build up enough courage to GG. Uh, and yeah, wow. That's a fan, just a fantastic game there. Tony G uh, being able to clean up the uh, leftovers from Dano who was able to just destroy those two with the DT rush and uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah yeah I think uh, that's the end of our story there that is uh, why Beats retired he got 4-0 uh, this all happened in one day uh, and yeah it was just too much for him I do I'm proud of him for being able to say GG uh, yeah, that was a classy move, even though he raged out the two times before, but, uh, yeah. I just feel like that's important to put on the, uh, YouTube history archives. Because Mark has a real specific memory for some things, and it's just really great to remind him of the reality of the truth. And so, yeah, anyway, GG, hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, it's ya boy!